Okie dokie. Let's go see what the orc wants me to do. In order to tell me about the Nerberine cult. Well, you gotta give the, the dumber people a lot of credit, though. They're, they can actually... Like, their gods are real. Like, they can actually see them, talk to them, touch them. They do miracles and stuff. It's easier to believe in a god when you can actually see it. Yeah, the tribunal aren't very nice, though. I don't really care too much about the uh, people. How do you do? Hi. Yeah, you have to endure their wrath, but you know, it's part, all part of the process. Uh, they used to worship the Daedra, three Daedra, but then those three Daedra were replaced by the Tribunal. Three uh, How does new gods. You, friend? Okay, the only orc I saw in here was you. You must be the. Oh, you're one of Caius' associates. That's a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement. And I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. This errand's very simple. I need the skull of Littleville and Daro. You'll find it in Endaro Ancestral Tomb. But take care not to upset the natives. Dumber have a particular primitive prejudice against necromancy. And take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. Necromancy. In the Empire, necromancy is a legit discipline, though body and spirit are protected property. It may not be used without permission of the owner, but more when the Dumner load necromancers and put them to death. That's absurd, of course, since the Dumner summon their own dead to guard tombs defend their family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition, it's all. Luvel and Darrendo. He was no one special, journey enchanter, there may be many skulls in Dero Tomb, but you'll have no problem recognizing his skull with his ritual markings. A Drino uh, Tomb is south of Pelagrab, just off the road, just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sedanin, uh, southwest of Vivek. may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword. Maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Um... Alteration, restoration. Necromancers? No, of course not. I can't teach you spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not. Not a necromancer. What? Anyone that, that that's that adamant about not being a necromancer is probably a necromancer. Just, you know? Just saying. Oh, I need to make another spell. I'm gonna make a spell with you. Hello, Outlander. Spell me. I hope you won't take too much of my time. Let's see. I need to summon a ghost for one second. Call it level sum summoning. There we go. Level summoning. Boom. Yay, conjuration's increasing. You know how annoying it'd be to be summoned from your plane of existence to somewhere else for one second and then put right back over and over and over again? Just over and over and over. Does someone have a soul trap spell? Do you want trap. something from me? I need a soul trap spell before I go anywhere. Someone's gotta have one. Nope. 
Nope. I need a soul trap spell. Trap. None of you have that. Spells. Nope. No soul trap. Someone's got to have a soul trap spell. One of y'all have to have one. Soul trap! Yay! Travel to such a good, good, such a good uh, song. Love that song so much. We'll make this uh, soul trap because that is important. Whoa! Oh God! No! Oh! Ow! That was so loud. It's squeaky in my ear. Okay, we need to go to the in Okay, good old Morrowind. Is south of Pelagrad, just off the road, just before the fork where the road southwest to Sydney and Okay, so I gotta head to Pelagrad. And then it's south of that. Oh, man. It might be quicker to go from... Take the Silt Strider to Bal Mor to Sedanine, maybe? We'll try that. <coughs> Ew. Ew. I better lay off the Mazda. Specific place. Um, destination. Let's travel to Sedanine. Where would you like to go? I would like to go down to Kokomo, please. There we go. Way down in Kokomo. Um, there's three. Someone said there there was three hidden items in Sedanine. Where is one of the items that are hidden? What building? Where can you find them? I'd like to see one of these. <laughs> Where is one of the hidden items? So we, we can try to find one of them. Tree stump near the vendor? Oh, do you mean for that one quest, the Fergoth hiding place? You've already been to that one. That one we've already done. Is there, um... Oh, I get my moon sugar and skooma back. I wanted to. Yeah, we've been to this tree stump here. I got one.
Uh, walking speed is dependent on your stats, and our stats are really low. Check lighthouse from above. Let's grab some of these plants. I have very nice hands. These are my magical mage hands. All right, so. Baby, are you a good girl? What are you doing, hmm? You a good baby girl? Yeah. She's just sitting there next to me, smelling the McDonald's bag because she doesn't care about me, she just wants the food. we go up. Is there anything on top of the lighthouse? Wait, what? <laughs> Levitate down to the tree stuff. Oh my god, there's an axe there. I see it. There's an axe hidden in that tree right there. Iron shard axe. Ooh. A hidden item. Ooh. Uh oh, Cliff Racer. Why don't you let me have fun, Cliff Racer? <laughs> Cliff Racers never let you have fun. They're always constantly trolling. Like, oh, you distracted? <laughs> Why don't I just attack you right now? I know, they won't let you have fun at all. Yeah, so there are items hit all over the place. There's another cliff racer over there. I can see him. Talk to the Silk Strider woman uh, about the one Imperial in the city. He has a ring. This lady? Um, someone in particular, specific place, destination, services, silt strider, background, Dunmer, rumor, advice, secret, Orban lore, my trade. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Well, thank you. Did you do something before? Yeah, I don't see anything. That's fine. Uh, let's go to Pelagrad. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. We need to go to Pelagrad. We need to find the Andresto family tomb to get a skull for Lady of the Mages Guild. 
And while we do that, we can level our conjuration. Oh yeah. No speed pots or spells yet? No! Never. She said it was south of Pelagrad. Oh! Is it that one? It is! Perfect! Okay, saving though. I don't know what's going to be in here. The dead body. With 17 gold on it. Expensive pants. Oh, there's a goat. Okay, gotcha. Gorgeous. Bone meal. I've noticed that the older I get, the only games that hold my attention are multiplayer. Really? But there's so many wonderful single player games out there. Oh, skeleton. Wow, he hit hard. Oh my god. Bone Walker. Those things hit really hard. Gray shafted unraveling. I'll take that. Dispel. Longbow. That fell decently. Oh shit, do Okay, yeah, you gotta be careful. Some of these monsters have drain spells. And in Morrowind, drain spells are permanent. They are forever. They do not go away. So you have to have a spell to re restore your drain stats. Actually, the one, some of them last, some of them aren't, but uh, some of them are permanent. A lot of them, then you have to get the spell to fix it. But yeah, you can cure stuff at the altar or use magic. Get in melee range, buddy. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he fell to the ground. Oh, my God. That was close. Okay, it's just it's just a 
one of those guys. No big deal. Should be fine. Crippled skeleton. Alright, it's not so bad. I'll take your bone meal. What is that whispering? These people are dead. They don't need their money, okay? Uh, repair prongs. Armorer, battle axe. Sound is. Thank God future games don't have repairing. Super annoying mechanic. Actually, I think I think Oblivion still has repairing, but then they took it away for the next one. It was, it was not fun. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? That is the the Daedra they used to worship. The three. Um, Boethia, Azura, and... Methala? The, what three Daedra do they worship again? Or, wait, is, or is that the Tribunal? Vivek, so to sit. No, that's that's Vivek right there. Yep, Vivek, so to seal and Amalexia or whatever it is. Yeah. Azura is not that bad. She's she's like one of the good Daedra, as good as a Daedra can be. Now the other two. Chest. I'll take both of those. Meridia! Meridia is like one of the decent ones, but she's still not even, she's still not good. Her methods aren't great. Her scene's kind of neutral. He doesn't really, not really evil or good. He's just sort of just thrill the hunt. That's all he cares about. doesn't really care about people. She just hates necromancy and stuff. She will, she'll stop it at all costs. Even if she has to kill a bunch of innocents to stop it. I'll take all that. Uh... I kind of like the Dumbner, like, tomb style. <sighs> oh, I don't think I have enough. Shugorath is just nuts. He's literally pure madness. That's just his thing. I need a little bit more mana before I can go take on that bone walker. Okay, 
Okay, I have enough mana to hit him a few times, and hopefully that's enough to kill him. If not, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Saw me. Okay, we're fine. Um, I'll take a that. That's creepy how Dagger of Judgment Enchanted and Skull of Luvial Andaro. It's creepy how the they like whisper from the dead from death. Unarmored skill increased hell to the air. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. I think Shiogorath is a cool Daedra, but he's overdone. They need to like focus on a different one. We've had plenty of Shiogorath in Oblivion and Skyrim. It's like let's let's pick a different danger to learn about. Like some of the ones we never really heard much at all from yet. Like Pyrite looks really crazy. He loves diseases and stuff. Namira, the eating the flesh one, would be an interesting one. Boethia would be a little crazy, I think. True wax. Fire salts. The problem with the Adras, is they're, they're all... I don't think they're dead. They're just like... Are the Adra all like... They're like trapped in stasis or something because they like gave or they killed themselves to make the I don't know if they're like dead or if they are Sort of like trapped until Are they like in limbo or they're mortal or they lost their power because they used it all up to make the make Nern the the world as we know it? Well actually if I'm on a Pelagrat I can do something there. They sacrificed something to make the world, but I don't know if it was their lives or just their power. And I wonder if they're like Akatosh, where they have like a pocket of power somewhere, like Martin found out. Can't you run a Morrowind? I am running. This is walking. I'm running. As much as my speed will allow. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Don't press your luck, sir. 